And there's the stream. Hello and welcome. Ooh, ooh, geez, sorry. Uh, episode four, Walking Dead. Uh, last time it was. No uh... oh, man, episode three was just fucking depressing. But hopefully things turn up a little bit in this one. I doubt it, but I don't think I remember a whole lot of episode four. So, I guess we'll. Uh... I guess we'll see. Let's go. Previously, on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? <sighs> Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Yeah. Probably not. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents... In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead, but in green. I thought I put you on vibrate, you son of a bitch. Clearly I did not. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Savannah. We're here. Luna Blue, thank you for the raid. Wow. I think that's my first raid. Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Wow, that is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Oh, dear. Controller. Control yourself. Can't I just hold it? Clem. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up! Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. And it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Hey, Luna Blue, how you doing? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Yeah, that's a bit odd. Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. 
Mm. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Probably. Sounded more like a warning. Yeah, that too. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? I'm a philosopher. It tolls for thee. Oh, well, we gotta go. Everybody, run! Clementine, time. Stay with me. Too close, don't you think? Ben! Shush. I see you. Ben, help her! Ben! Oh my god! Oh, you're so god fucking it. dead. Time? Oh, thank you, Chuck. Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Thank you. Whew. Oh, I'm gonna fuck. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Leaving my little girl. Oh, behind. give me a fucking break! Wait, here. where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! Oh, we don't get to choose, we just run. Okay. I'll get the door. Oh. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it! We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Lee, instead of just standing there like a goddamn mute, maybe you could give us a hand here? No. How about nah? You know what? You. Yeah. What the fuck? About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. If you put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. Damn straight. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe no. we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Yeah. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, of course. looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. <sighs> I had to deal with that. Clementine! Speak to me. How you doing? You think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No. No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Omid and Chris. How's he looking? I'm all right. 
You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. Yeah. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <clears throat> She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, man. Anything else you want to say? Will we be inside soon? Yeah, yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Yep. It's yeah. All right, Kenny. Son of a bitch. His fucking face. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. Yeah. Whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Yeah. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. All right. I think I'll go have a look around. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. You... <sighs> All right. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Oh wait a minute. What's down there? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a pet door. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? Yeah, I have. That's... My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. So we gotta find oh, shit. The Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so where's the dog? Or the collar. Uh -oh. Hey, Clem, uh, best not to look. I'll look in the doghouse first, but it's pretty obvious where he's at. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Ah. <sighs> We gotta unearth a dog. Looks like something was buried here. Yeah, a dog. Oh boy. Is there anything around like a shovel? Uh -huh. Indeed, there is a shovel. A shovel is never not useful. Nope. Freaking cat. <laughs> Getting into something, I'm sure. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, Clem. What's buried down there? The dog. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Yeah. I wasn't going to tell her, like, go away, but, like, I, yeah. Yeah. Shut her. Oh, it's God, the smell. Yeah, it's a dead, rotting dog. It's been, probably been in the ground for who knows how long. Oh, can't get it off. Oh, okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Ooh. Can I rebury the dog? Ugh. Oof. Stinks like hell. Yeah, cool. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. What happened to Shovel never not being useful? <laughs> Alright. Not the... 
No, not the wrench. Holy. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna break that thing open. All you're gonna do is make a lot of noise we don't need. I know, I know, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I meant to press this one. Not the damn wrench. It goes nothing. <sighs> yes! God damn! Alright, Clementine. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Then there she goes. Yep. Clem, what do you see in there? Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. <laughs> I did good, right? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Yeah. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What yeah. makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Yeah, that's a little weird. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Meat's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. <sighs> sure. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Hmm. That's normally what I do anyway. Now you're just encouraging me to do it. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Hmm. All right, time for exploring. This grandfather clock seems interesting. Must have stopped working a while ago. Yeah. Let me look at something. I, I don't know what it is, but the game just looks really, really dark. I don't know if it's like that for anybody else, but... See if that helps eh, a little bit. All right, I think I'll leave it at that. That looks it seems all right. All empty. Of 
course. Why wouldn't it be? Sink. Nothing. Water's off. <sighs> Dog food. Oh boy. It's probably all we're gonna have. Huh? I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Yeah. Alright. I guess it's fair. Mikrowav. Anything inside the radiation box? No. No power. Shocker. Uh, this must be the dog. Walter. Sorry, Walter. All cleaned out. Really? It's a stool in my way? Fine. Into the living room. Bottles of whiskey, of course. Probably not the best idea right now. No! I need to stay frosty. Yeah, you've got a kid with you, man. Probably not the... Probably not the best thing you can Looks do. Looks expensive. And heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Yeah. How's it coming? Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Yeah. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Yep. Kinney's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Uh, Clementine. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Okay. Like the one you're sitting in? Rich family and the dog. Paintings, huh? Not exactly my style. No. <laughs> no, not really. Good trigger Nothing discipline leak. in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Sweet. Let's go. Whew. I'm not going upstairs quite yet. It's just a broom. It's fine. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. <laughs> it's okay, Lee. It happens. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? 
Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. No, nope, you're good. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Boo. What's going on? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What the f... Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Can't get him to come down? Well, we're going up then. Very, very, oh. <laughs> Not to say very slowly, but okay, never mind. We're good. Kenny? Kenny? Kenny! You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Duck. Ugh. Kinda looks like duck, don't he? Um. It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found the one I did. Yeah. Don't use the gun. That's way too fucking hard. Yeah, I'll use this. <sighs> I'm sorry. Didn't do it myself. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Ooh. Bury the boy with his dog. bad, huh? Start off with a walker child. Your child walker, huh?
Yeah, it's literally just look. Not really much the. Oh, 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 boy. Who the fuck? Hey, hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I was just standing here. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, no. too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What yeah. does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? Uh, I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Yes. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? <laughs> That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Yeah. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? One. Good. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Not just walkers, man. There was a guy stalking the fucking house. Shoot. Shoot to kill. Right for the cranium. Go for it. He's, uh, I think he's starting to lose it. You think everyone's safe back at the house? 
Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Yeah. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Kenny. What in the hell is going on? Shut up. Let them go that way. I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I don't think that one's really much of a walker as much as they are a crawler. <laughs> Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. Oh. There's nothing. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. No. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. <sighs> Dude, that thing's... Old busted, you're not. This one might still be salvageable. I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let Kenny do his thing. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Okay then. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Charming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the smell is probably horrendous. What the fuck? What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Yeah, that's fucking fucked. <laughs> I'm not. No. Not shooting. Not wasting my bullets on them. Walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Okay, Lee, 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 please. Oh, I can't go that way. There's nothing here. Nothing. Yeah, what is this? What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. That's fucking weird. <sighs> there it is again. Could Did be military tags, but what do they mean? Uh, different letters. Cash register, come on, there's gotta be something. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Yeah, too, that uh, would have been. Mm -hmm. Can I get like the equivalent of a quarter? Uh, 
I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. I know, but you... I don't know, maybe there's some down here. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. No. <laughs> nope. Oh, newspaper machine. Maybe there's change in here. Locked. Of course. Gas siphoned. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Yep. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Yeah. Must have. Okay. Can't go any further that way. Oh, now I can... Oh my god, oh my god. Hey, a quarter. Sweet. Let's go. Oh, the sign. Fuck! Oh. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. Of course. You can't fix it? Oh, can he just... Ooh. What the... What the hell is that? Fate worse than death. Yeah. No way that one's salvageable. Nope. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Okay, other side. Oh, what the hell? What the oh. hell? Get down! Get down! Yeah. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Ooh, maybe not Just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. <sighs> Jeez. Nope. Oh. All right. No. Oh, Clementine. Clem? Please don't hurt him. Uh, got to listen to a kid. You're not from Crawford. No. Oh, hello. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us!
Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Yeah, 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 I guess we do. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because we've got a kid. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. <laughs> That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. <clears throat> you just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Yep. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. That's fair. Uh, Bebop Barino, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate what do you mean? it. No children. Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, hmm. those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Yeah. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Oh, here they come. Great. Just great. Isn't that the... Way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Molly, is there a. D uh, Molly! I mean, I get it, but like, come on. 
Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! <sighs> Come on, make it fast! Clementine, you first? Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Me, come on! Come on, man, one good jump! No, me! Yeah, you're not going out that way. You only got one way to go. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! No. Can't get it open! You know how fucking heavy those things Here, are? Here, use that to pry it open. Oh, okay. Bye. Fuck, separated from Clementine. Again. That's not what I want. This thing's gonna start falling down, my guy. You better better move your ass. Yep, here they come. Clementine! Can you hear me? If you can hear me! Just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Whew. Stuck in the sewer. Shit. Shit indeed. Shit, shit, shitty, shit, shit. Nothing. Okay. Forward. <laughs> Pretty sure that goes straight to the river anyway. At least I would think. I don't know. Not a damn clue. Oh, can't go that way. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Follow the current, probably. That's gonna be my assumption. Oh, Ooh, you're gonna fucking reek, my guy. Damn. What is this? Dead. I'm not picking up a dead rat. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here, too. Okay. Ain't touching that. Yeah, Last thing don't. I need is some god awful disease. Besides the one you already have. Besides the one that everyone has. It's a drainage pipe. Good. <sighs> oh. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. No. Maybe. Shit. Oh, nicely. Alright, what's what's in here? Oh, was it this is just a shortcut? Okay. This is good. Means there's something we need to figure out. Uh, obviously, has to do with the stream pipe right here. Maybe. Come on. Turn it left. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Oh. Okay. Well, 
what is that doing? Oh, yeah. Good thing I'm out here, and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. Actually, no, wait, 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 no, go back. I have an idea. Won't go anymore in that direction. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, then. D Lee, please. Lee, Lee, please. N not into the wall. Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh, the guy that's over there. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You yeah. deserve better, old man. Yeah, you did. Gun. Not worth it. Not worth the trouble. No, oh, what did I just fucking see? Yeah, that was fucking stupid. Yeah, it did. God damn it. No way I could pick that up on my own. Here, so I don't have to waste a fucking bullet. No! What did I just... No. No. Ah. You know what? Resume. Fuck! Ah. 
You know what? Just kill me. Go ahead. It's fine. Just, just, just murder me. I, I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve to die. <laughs> try to... <sighs> okay, circle, not X. Circle. This one. Same goes with this one. Yes. Circle. Not the fucking gun. Okay, now we're actually okay. No way I could pick that up on my own. Okay, that didn't change, clearly. Damn, I can't reach it. See, now I don't have 50 million walkers after me, though. So we're good. Nah. Uh, sorry, Chuck. old nuclear fallout shelters. Oh, and there's a bunch of shit in here. Wonder if someone's living down here. Maybe. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yeah. But only for months. That's the problem. Oh. Okay, where are we at? Oh! Jeez! Yep, you have every you have every reason. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Jeez. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. No. Nope. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, we gotta do all this again? Okay. Who no. are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. 
think, Vernon? What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. no I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. Oh. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yes. Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Ern, what the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. Mm. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. I mean, at this point, Clementine might as well just be my be my kid. So I'm not really lying. I mean, I am, but never mind. <laughs> it's a technicality, okay? She's my she's my child. I love her, and I'm taking care of her. Clementine? Clem? Oh, you're here. So that must mean Clem's here. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh, yeah. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him.
Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Yeah, it's probably best that I do. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, where are you? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Clem, you in here? Don't see her anywhere out there. Huh. No walkers either, though. That's good. What's this? Oh. Drawings. But where is she? Oh, she drew me burying the burying the kid. Clementine, you here? Clem? This is, this is the bathroom. Ain't got time for that. <laughs> oh, jeez, don't give me the option, then. Hello? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay. I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. All right, Lee. Then Jesus! Don't give me the option to look at things. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. Oh my God. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? D yeah, d d no. <laughs> don't fuck with me right now. I don't care about you Clementine, two. Clementine, where are you? I guess Ben might know. Should probably ask him. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damn if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. 
with no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's no. fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Yeah, fucking shit, man. Oh, she's fine. You're like, no! No, she's a fucking child. Not that she can't take care of herself, but it's like, dude, kid that I care about. Clementine? Clementine! Keep an eye on her. covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Oh, Clem, thank God. Hey, girl. Come look, look what I found. Holy shit, we got a boat. We got a boat, boys. <laughs> hey look Kenny it's a boat it's a fucking boat yep <laughs> alright Kenny what's the plan then we're gonna do <sighs> Old Mead's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running mm. a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Yeah, 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 it is. All right, kind of... Will? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Bad. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst hell? kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. Don't. Just how exactly do you figure we do this? 
Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map That's by neat. any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. No. Nope. That's better. Yeah. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about <laughs> this? Yep. I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Yep. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> That's fair. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Yes. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. Yep. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Oh. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. Yep. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say, say what, what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? <sighs> Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I did, Clem. Can't I come with you? She's right. In a sense of like we're fuck, fuck. I mean as long I hate it. I hate it so much because like mm. of course because of course bringing her is like gonna be a huge fucking risk, but I mean oh, God damn. I hate this. I understand she's at least safe, but bringing her with us, it might, she might be useful. And as long as we're careful, I guess it'll be okay. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. And do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready.
right, sudden burst in music. We're probably gonna need all the help we can get anyway. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Thanks. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Alright, Lara Croft. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa. Hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. Yup. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Clementine's a badass. Alright. Ocean's 14. I don't know. <laughs> this should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Yep. Let's go. And we're off. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. That is a little weird. One over there by the door. That's a lot. Okay. Oh no, that's a dude. Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Figured it was. I'm gonna start assuming that everyone in Crawford is dead. Cause there should there wouldn't be walkers here. What the here. fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside! Fast! Yeah, the, there's a bunch of walkers in here. What the hell? Oh, they're fucking everywhere. I think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are yeah. so screwed. No, this is good. This is good. 
Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Yeah. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Insert Star Wars joke here. Just keep moving. Yeah. Ugh. Rooms full of walkers. Here. Go figure. Don't dead open inside. Looks okay. Everybody in. Shocker. Figures. Yep. Oh. We got a whole layout of what is that, the city? It's like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Yeah. By the looks of it. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Uh, the... Layout of the building, or layout of the floor? Uh... Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? <laughs> Just makes sense, doesn't it? Hmm. So then we just Don't need a battery. The sorrow shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Back before you know it. Uh, trust me, Clem. I trust you with the room far more than I do with him. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go blow my nose. <laughs> Ooh, that sneeze was horrendous.
All right, all better. Let's get back into it. I guess I should look around this room before the we... The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Uh, before we head out. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. So basically, we get out, go up, right, down, or right again. Okay. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, it would be the place to look. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Okay. Uh, book health. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Hmm, it's perfect for Clem. Rug. Hopscotch. Oh, it is hopscotch. <laughs> Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Aww. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. <laughs> Will there be homework? No homework. <laughs> Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. I hope so, too. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Yep. Uh, Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Initials of person conducting search. Days since outbreak. Number of walkers found. Number of citizens about to cross. Number of ineligible citizens. Jesus. Creepy. Yeah, that's a little fucked up. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Yeah. No power, no TV. Nope. Hey, you. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Man, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. You should. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. Yeah. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. 
There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now. No, not yet. <laughs> I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Yeah, because Kenny's... Kenny has a focus now. He's got something to drive his... I don't know, drive his motive towards, so... Just a bunch of paste. So once you disrupt that, that's, you know, everything's just gonna fucking explode. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. I don't really know. I, never, I don't think they ever really touched on it. Other than, you know, it's fucked up everywhere. And maybe that's all we really need to know. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I remember. It's up. Right. The alleyway to the auto shop's oh. down here. You coming or not? Yeah, give me a second. Shell casings. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Then what? Okay. Must Probably. be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yeah, that's what it looks like. He looks like a fucking douchebag. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? She's probably out there already. I guess, anyway. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Nope. Auto shop must be down this way. It, it's in black. I can't read what that said. No, oh, son of a bitch. Um. What the fuck? D d d sure. All right. God damn it, game! Don't do this to me. Don't make me paranoid. Oh, what's this? I can't read it. <laughs> damn. Anything in here? Nope. Barbed wire up on the fence. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Nope. You're gonna rip your skin to shreds. Photo ID? You kidding me? Why? Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Yep, just gotta find a way in. Okay, I can't walk in here. Aha! Perfect. Yup, we're doing it, Lee. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna break some shins, but nope. Okay, never mind. We're good. The garage door. Garage. Damn. It's jammed tight. Of course it is. <laughs> not out there. Better not get too close. Nope. Do I still have that? What the? He's mine. Oh. What were you doing up there? <laughs> Clearly he's some piece of shit. Yeah. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? I think you got him. <laughs> One more. 
for luck. Clearly. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Piece of shit. Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Wait, you just carried that with you? Of course. Great. That's wonderful. Shit. Come on. Ah, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, crank that son of a bitch. Get it. Are you shitting me? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Good thinking. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Maybe. Sure is. Well, I can see where the battery should be. Oh. <laughs> but it's not. Perfect. Oh, I have one in here. I can't reach it up there. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Alright. Warning. More are... of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Yeah. No power. It's probably a generator somewhere. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Looks like it goes outside. It's locked. Never mind. No way in. Alright, well, there's gotta be some. something. Gotta be something. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. How interesting. I can't see where I'm going. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. <laughs> Hilda? Hilda. That's what I call her. <laughs> Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Same thing. No power. I did it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. That's probably not good. No shit. No shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I'll try to hold him off. Well, Hurry. Clearly the battery. The battery. Finally something goes right. I can say there's clearly a battery in it. It's off. The negative terminal still screwed on. It is not. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. No, a fucking battery. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Skylight. 
Nice. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Yep. You ever stop <laughs> complaining? Come on. I'm sorry. Jeez. Nah. <laughs> I'm not Come a on, fucking... what are you, chicken? Jump! I'm not a fucking parkour master. Are you kidding me? What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. <laughs> He's like, alright. That's fair. Oh, good. I didn't fuck up on the first go. <laughs> what? I'm not chicken. Well, actually, maybe. <laughs> Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bolly! <sighs> Damn it, what the hell is she doing? That's some good coverage, though. Can't open it without the combination. What do you mean? Okay. Um, I don't remember what was where. Oh. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Whoa, what the? Little help here! Oh boy. Ah, shit. Ah. Ah. Bash his brains in! Lee, do something! We got it! Break the door with something! With the X! There's a. Come on! Oh, triangle. Hold. Get damn well better. There's so many of them. Well, they've got the, got fuel. the fuel. Yep. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Isn't that what we want, though? Don't, don't we want them to weigh 50 million pounds? Sorry, 2,000 pounds. You're back! Yeah, yep. and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Yep. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Hmm. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, <laughs> all this happened. Of course. Lost my whole family. Oh. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I guess so. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. That's fair. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. 
If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Yeah, I bet. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. You're too busy looking at a map. Sure. Okay. Clementine! How are we doing? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Okay. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Okay. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Fuck you, Kenny. <laughs> Just kindly fuck you. I guess I better go out and help him with the medicine then. Walkers are still there. Do not exit to the playground. There's yeah, no, you can't do that now. <laughs> Exit the playground. Walkers, come and get me! Fresh meat. Shit. Shit. Oh, they definitely got in. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Do I really... Can I really not do anything else? No, nope, I have to shoot, huh? Okay, I guess it's a matter of which one. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay, never mind, I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, music again with the sudden surge. What the hell happened? He wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Ah, key code. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Oh. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, let me let me look around first. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. And yet it's still plugged in. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Okay. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that, but all right. You do you. So What's oh. this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Hmm. How would you know, Krista? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Cool, cool. Just making sure, you know. Uh, where's Vern? There he is. Medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? 
Ooh, a tape. That's good. You need that. Phones probably haven't worked in months. No. No! Lee. 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 I should be yelling my name, but whatever. Back in the nurse's office, you dipshit. <laughs> to be fair, though, I do this in real life a lot. It's just like, enter a room. Wait, what the fuck? No, go back. <laughs> what am I doing in here? I don't need to be in here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Of course not. I mean, I know where we're gonna find it. I actually remember. Not working. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. That's fair. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. Damn straight. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I know what it is, but I want to talk to Christopher's. I'm not shooting the fucking gate. I'm just not doing it. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... Okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, about... yeah, Clementine. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with him... That is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Put this in here. Camcorder that uses Vernon, tape. Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! <sighs> I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. We maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, 
let's have, let's have a look. Molly's been gone a while. Jesus! <laughs> oh. How wonderfully convenient. <laughs> anyway, fucking shit. Oh. Crawled off. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny, just... That's all it took, just... Done. There's the other one. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Oh. Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. That's the locker number. Shit, time to go. Okay, I'm gonna open up that locker. Logan, this must have been his locker. What's in there? Tape. Another tape. Safe combination has gotta be on one of these. So now we got two tapes. Alright. Well, I'm definitely watching both of them. Ugh. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy. Or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Yeah. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, she fucking killed him. No. 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 And that's how... Oh, that must be how it started. The outbreak. I think we know what happened to Crawford. Yep. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Nice. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Yep. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. 
Let's go. I Let's know I go. found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, I'm watching this third tape. I want to see what's on it. Anyway. Yeah, here we go. What the f Oh my... Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Hmm. So Molly, well, I figured Molly was a part of this place at one point. Well, shit. All right, time to go. Okay, back to the class room. Oh, or oh, Jesus Molly. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Molly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The asshole. Here you go. I'll just put that in my pocket. It's fine. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, mm -hmm. and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. <sighs> I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. <sighs> this is all I have left of her. Picture. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Time to go. That wasn't my chair, so... Oh, oh, shit! Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, <gasps> ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Fucking hell. Ben! God damn it! Lee! Shoot this fucker! Shit. 
I did. What do you mean? Thanks. Wasn't it wasn't me. Good going, kid. Nice shot. Oh, it was Clem. It's okay. I taught her to shoot. She did it. Fucking great. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. ugh, yeah. Don't say anything else, yeah. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! <sighs> nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. Yeah. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Oh, Clem. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> uh... I was trying to remember how she died. There it is right here. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? Yeah. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. <laughs> Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Not there. Not there. Nope. Close the door. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Nice. Shoot the shit out of some walkers. Uh, 
Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're all good here. Oh, come on! I misclicked like an inch. Whatever. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Yep. Go, Clem. Stay safe, please. Come on, let's go! Uh-oh. Oh, no! Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! Oh, fuck. Lee, we both know. Mm, ben! Let me go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Oh, he's okay. <laughs> hey. Back already? <laughs> He's just sleeping. He's fine. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh. <sighs> Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. 
I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. All right. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their li- oh, No! Elgato, fucking no! Make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? Yeah, what? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. No! We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? He has a I point. you have a point. I just want what's best for her. Whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. Oh, I don't think I could. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Ben asked for it. <laughs> Literally, he was like, "Do it. Just let me go." He was like, "Okay." <sighs> game really does make you question everything. <laughs> like, literally everything. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Yeah. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Oh. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Well, I think you just swayed in my... Ain't nothing to do with luck. I think you just swayed my, uh... My choice here. Gotta talk to Clem, Hey, though. sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace, Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You oh. do? Do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. Oh. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, yep. she was right. She is right. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? 
I'd like to, Cleo, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Oh. Nothing hurts worse. All the shit I went through means nothing. Seeing that little girl cry. This game makes me feel things, and I don't appreciate it. Alright, Clem, where'd you go? Clementine? Clem, where'd you go? Sweet Pea, where are you? They didn't leave without me, right? Or is everyone just outside? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Oh, her hat. finished episode two. Nice. Uh, this is episode four. I think I'm just at the end of it. Jesus Christ! doing out here it ain't safe lee where's clementine she's not in her room vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on oh, whose Ver blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no 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 way and who the hell took her i don't oh. know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Fuck Damn yeah. right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself... Doubt. If this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. 
I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, we came all the way back here. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! going on Clem Clem time are, are you all right where are you Vernon you son of a bitch Cody that's not Vernon where have you taken her Kill the boy in the attic. You and 25. Really? Huh. Uh. Lie or threaten Vernon. 42% Th of players threatened or lied. I did? When? Do and Clementine. Bring Clementine. Yeah. Let Ben fall. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So kind of a mixed bag in that one. Who came with you? Oh, there was not. Shit. Oh, well, that's alright, I guess. Oh, boy. This is definitely the episode I remember the least of. I don't know. I don't really know why. I just like this episode in particular. Like it was a lot of it was a blur. But I'm I'm glad that's the case because there was a lot of a lot of feelings that came flooding back. It was just like, oh yeah, right, fuck. Oh, man, I gotta 
I gotta say, nothing... Yeah, rather, I guess I'll say it again. Nothing hurt more than seeing Clementine cry like that. Like, like letting Ben go and all the shitty shit that I did before that felt like felt like nothing compared to just seeing her like just seeing her sad. Like that's uh, it hurts. It just hurts seeing a child sad about anything in general. I don't like it. <laughs> Now she's been fucking kidnapped. And uh, Lee's gonna kick some fucking ass. At least I'm gonna hope so. <laughs> Lee, you better kick some fucking ass. This guy's got Clementine. God, the credits aren't super long. <sighs> so yeah, that was uh, that was Walking Dead episode four. Tomorrow is uh, tomorrow's the season one finale, as well as uh, the four hundred days. Uh, special episode. I'm just gonna add it on to it right after, just so that we can, just so that we can finish it for the week. And then next week we start season two, so we're we're starting to creep up on it. But we got to get through the finale. And if uh, and if anybody knows what the finale is like, then uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to going through it again. But. Regardless, that's going to be the end. Of, the end for now. Thank you. Thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. I'll uh, catch you tomorrow for the finale.